Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this time trial guide showing you how you can complete the time trials for this week. Starting off with the RC time trial and as always you need to earn an RC Benito in order to use this. The first corner you want to definitely slow down for or else you're going to be starting to crash. And in the long straight all you really need to worry about is this bridge right here as well as the traffic that is going on on the road. During this section with all the corners you just want to take it slow and as you exit that bit right there you want to let go of your acceleration so you don't flip out as soon as you land when you go over these bridges like we're doing a lot here you want to make sure that you don't have your acceleration button pressed or else your wheels will still be spinning and the rc bandito will do a bunch of funky stuff that you don't want it to do Moving further on in this section right here, as you're taking the left turn, again, let go of the acceleration and don't try to hit that rock. It will lose you a few seconds, but it's not that big of a deal. The main thing you really want to be worrying about during this RC time trial really is going to be the pedestrians, especially during the tighter sections that we started out in and are going to head in right now. As you can see, that woman was just going for her Sunday walk and you just interrupted it, which is totally fine, but it's definitely something you want to avoid crashing into as it will lose you a lot of time moving into the following section right here you want to definitely slow down a little bit and take this section rather slow because of the amount of tight turns you have to do don't be afraid in cutting some corners here and there because as per usual the rc time trial uh, checkpoints are quite generous with how wide you can take them this section right here is particularly difficult because of the amount of traffic that is there but if you can just squeeze through you should be more than fine and it's just one more corner and you have earned yourself a hundred thousand dollars Moving on to the regular time trial, this one is not as tricky as you might think because logically you would have to go through all the dirt roads and all that stuff to get to the other side of the map. However, there's a faster and a better way. Now this is of course by using the highway or the freeway or the motorway, whatever part of the world you're from. Obviously, as per usual, we'll be using a Batty 801 for this one, and we want to be wheeling as much as we can. It really just comes down to anticipating traffic and just using your wheelie as much as possible. Especially during the Polito Bay Strait, you really want to start using your wheelie as much as you can. The tricky part about this one, unfortunately, is that you can't wheelie all the time because of the amount of very tiny but irritating turns that are within the road. So when that does happen, what you want to do is you want to lean forward with your bike it's not as fast as wheeling but at the same time you will gain yourself a little bit of speed as you continue on with this time trial because every little bit of speed that you can gain during this one is going to be essential now with the Batty 801 i did manage to have six seconds to spare which is with a fully upgraded one so i do believe that it could possibly be possible to also do this without a upgraded Batty 801 so if you're a newer player you can definitely give this one a try if you happen to have like fifteen thousand dollars spare you can get yourself a baddie 801 and then yourself a sweet little one hundred thousand dollars other vehicle options are definitely a thing too in this one cars are in my opinion a more comfortable way of trying to beat this stuff like a divestier the pariah or any high top speed super or sports car or any other car for that matter will do you very nicely you don't need a lot of cornering ability in this one honestly maybe a little bit of acceleration and don't have something extreme extremely slow but overall you don't have to worry too much about how to beat this one because it is relatively easy The only section you really have to worry about is uh, this section right here with the bridge uh, because as soon as you pass that bridge and you go too fast there is a high possibility of you crashing into the right side and that stack of logs once you pass the bridge all you want to do is just jump through the trees and just straight into the checkpoint and that will all you would need to be doing it's a pretty straightforward and easy time trial all you really need for this one is just high top speed and that's really all there is to it obviously traffic is going to be a bit of an annoyance in this one so if you don't want to listen to the raw gameplay and see uh, when i do accelerate and when i do let go of the acceleration in the rc time trial and the regular one i'll leave a link in the description down below with the raw footage in case you need to refer to that as well 
But with all that said and with all that done, that was it for this one. Thank you all so very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and I'll see you all later.